Greetings everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to the re-upload of part zero of Another Century, episode R. Why am I re-uploading this? Because apparently there is a contraband against the music. Um, the music group is Acid Black Cherry with their opening theme, Rebirth. You won't be able to hear it because I muted it this time. You gonna be happy now or are we gonna still be bitching about each other, YouTube? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna show you I have little to no life By naming all the main principal Gundams and mechs we're going to see in this game in this opening cutscene I'm so lonely And this is the enemies Don't worry. Don't give a shit for them. Don't you don't need to give a shit for them actually So first one Aquarion that's not hard to guess where that's from yeah, um, the Aquarion and Macross games have a lot of um, time here because they're the only series at this time of this game's development I didn't think finished or had a lot more potential and, you know, whatever. I didn't care. Mugen Punch, the Infinite Punch. And I believe these are... I forgot what those are, actually. I know it's another anime similar to the Macross series, but I forgot what it's called. Ugh, the Destiny Gundam. Don't get me wrong, the Gundams were cool, I just didn't like the story. Fuck you, Shin, you're not that badass. Face palm, motherfucker! Sorry, he's not the Black Heater. The Valkyries from v uh, Macross Frontier, the VF-25. Oh shit, that almost hit us! The one right there is Alto Salatome, the character we'll be playing as. Yeah, I really have no life if I can name a lot of these mechs just by looking at them in the main characters. Ugh. That's Overman King Gainer from the same series. Yeah, it, King Gainer technically, from Overman King Gainer. Oh, god damn it, I forgot. <laughs> Well, I know what it is. I just don't have it on the tip of my tongue right now. It's uh, Fomel Panics, the Arbalest. There we go. Uh, that's the, believe, Crossbone Gundam. I don't know which version it is. I just know it's a crossbow from, it's a Crossbone Gundam. I don't know which one it is. I think it's the X1. Oh, Code Geese. That came out of freaking nowhere. Yes, that I believe is the uh, Lancelot. No, that's not the Lancelot. That's the... Yeah, it is the Lancelot. Sorry. I haven't watched most Code Geese, so I'm sorry if this insults anyone who's seen the series and love it to death. And of course, the standard badass pose shot. There's also a bunch of other Macross series we can see in there and other games we can see in there. The other one I could name is called uh, from Super Dimension Century Orgus. There we go. And yes, we have now our opening scene and we're now back with sound music and the same old stuff. Now, I wanted to continue a game, but there was a screw up on my previous recording. I ex the computer died on me. Anyways, if you go to HDD install, you can install this onto your PS3's hard drive, and you get a trophy for it. Really? That's that's this equivalent of pressing the A button to get an achievement. Oh wait, the Simpsons game's done that already. Anyways, we're gonna go to a new game because, like I said, I don't want to start off the first few levels with overpowered mechs. He lies. He wants to. <laughs> Anyways, part zero is mostly just to show you guys off the tutorial. <sighs> now, between intermission, I'm playing on normal. Between intermission, there are little um, cutscenes that can play. Uh, I don't even call them cutscenes. They're just animated characters standing in a hallway and talking. No voiceover, no nothing. Anyways, here we get all, obviously, the selection of all the mech series. Overman King Gainer, Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny. This is the one we're. Go uh, 
Yeah, Overman King Gainer, see Destiny, uh, Crossbone Gundam on series we never got, Zeta Gundam, uh, Code Geese, Aquarion, uh, Super Dimension Orgus, Full Metal Panic, Macross Zero, Macross Frontier, and Original Generation. Super Robot Original Generation. For this playthrough, of course, we're going to go with Macross Frontier because at this point in time, it was the only Macross series, it was actually the only series I haven't beaten the game with. So not only to unlock a trophy, but just for shits and giggles. Yeah, and Macross came out like not too long when I did this originally. Macross Frontier came out long ago, but you know, the 25th anniversary was there, but its movie releases were on its way. So I decided to say, what the hell, why not? And pass me, what the hell are you doing? Press OK. One thing about the Japanese games also is that although it says X to go back and circle is okay, in reality, uh, Japanese games, most Japanese games, the X button is the accept button and the circle is the cancel button. Which kind of doesn't make sense to me since, you know, an X usually means something bad and a circle means something good. So yes, let's continue. Yes. Now, I originally did this live, so, uh, yeah, that's why there's going to be a lot of edits in this part, because now I'm doing it post-commentary, because it ain't hard. Okay, time to Sorry, I love uh, Cheryl's music. Anyways, right away, go to your, start, pause the game, go to your controls, lock on, on, target, direction. Flight control. Now there's expert, easy, and there uh, six axis. Expert is like most flight simulators. Turn your plane one direction. Pull, pull back on the control stick to move it. Easy is your basic like a Star Fox 64. Reverse off and the rest is okay. Now if you want to play around and find out what is the best for you, that's okay. Whatever suits you. I'm just saying this is best for me. Now, control schemes. It's pretty easy. The left thumbstick controls your fighter, plane, whatever you're using. X button holding it down allows you to boost. Your square button allows you to shoot, which I think I'm going to show off soon. Your triangle attack is your melee attack, depending on which mode you are. Uh, your circle button allows you to do the special attacks. Certain special attacks are blocked. Um, the right thumbstick allows you to control to switch between, well, in this case, Gurkwalk Fighter and Batloid. The fighter is your down on the right trigger, Gurkwalk is right, and the fight the Batloid is up on the right trigger. Your screen in your top right corner is your Radar, the bottom left corner is your HP and special gauge. We'll get more into that as we get into the game. I explain it further down. Uh, pressing the, I believe it's R, it's been a while. So L1 allows you to switch between your specials on the bottom of your right screen. L2 allows you to target or you have those two reversed. R1, yeah, pushing the X button in the directional area will allow you to boost very quickly or sidestep, whatever. Um, pressing R1 or R2 allows you to ascend. R1 allows you to ascend. Pressing R2 allows you to descend. Double tapping them will send you into a very quick uh, ascend or descend. This is very good for getting out of the way of enemy attacks or getting into the enemy's range to get it to attack them. It's weird because the Macro Zero mech can allow itself to, in Gurk Walk mode, to attack. Now, if you go to command list, you'll see all the attacks you can do at this time. There's one I don't use often or rarely is catch. This allows you to grab an opponent and throw them. This has an achievement for it, a trophy, I should say, whatever. It's the same thing. Um, yeah. So, I'm just making sure everything is up. The attack voice, you can actually turn it off, which is nice. Meaning that uh, you don't hear the, uh, let's go, or fit fellas, go. Sorry. I can't do an I can't do Toby voice. I wish I could. And this part's gonna end, so join me for part one where we get the game started. 
Don't forget to either comment, rate, or subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night.